Hey Virgo, what's up? So this is Brandy. I'm doing the chariot one from the obstacles in your love life. So I know you can't see it, but how this is going to work is I'm going to pull one card for your obstacle, one card for your challenge, one card for the outcome, and one card for the person's challenge obstacle that you are dealing with. This could go vice versa. So we're going to get started. Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What is the challenge and obstacles in my love life for November? Obstacle. <clears throat> King of Swords, King of Air. Challenge. The Star. Aquarius Energy. Okay. The Outcome. Eight of Wands. Good outcome. Their Energy and Obstacle. Heartbreak. Three of Swords. Okay. Bottom of the deck is the Hierophant. Could be a Taurus, could be an Aquarius, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, really. Um, but Taurus and Aquarius are very strong here in your reading, if you're dealing with any of those, Virgo. Um, change is definitely upon you, so let's dig a little deeper here. Your challenge, the King of Swords, is a plan, a strategy. That's your challenge. Um... Maybe you feel you haven't planned and strategized enough about this relationship because it seems to be getting more serious with the higher fault on the bottom of the deck here. Okay. Like, communication may be challenging. <sighs> the star. That's the challenge. That was the obstacle. Communication and a plan. So the star as a challenge with the obstacle is you are debating, is this the right path for you? Is this person for you? Is this your wish? Are they your wish? Are they good for you? Are they healing? Are they going to pull you down? Okay. Their obstacle challenge is the three of swords. You know, um, maybe they're scared that you're going to break their heart. This could go vice versa too, by the way. These energies could flip. Crosswatcher, Virgo, whoever's watching this. But the, the challenge here is mental conflict of, will you break my heart? Are you going to break my heart, Virgo? Hmm, I have a feeling this is someone's uh, moon. Someone has a moon, Virgo, that might be watching this. That's uh, very strong. So, but the outcome is movement, travel, communication. Real communication, okay? And travel. Arrows of love. I am going to get clarifiers, don't worry. Please make sure you give me a, a like, because that helps me more than you know. I do not pay YouTube to get views. So please hit uh, like and subscribe. Subscribers, blah, blah, blah. subscribe, 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 okay? All right. Um, so. Can I please have clarity on this King of Swords for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for November of 2019? Ah, crap. Lovers in reverse. Someone's not communicating about what they want here for this union. Someone is indecisive. If they want this union, do they want this to be their lover? Okay. Can I, am I holding these right? So give me clarity on the star, please. What's the star about in the challenge position for Virgo? Spirit, the tower. Clarify the tower, please, for the star. The five of pentacles. Okay. So challenge, is this my person? Is this a path? Are they healing for me? They were my wish. Someone has put someone out here. There's money involved. There's been an epiphany. Like someone is definitely alone in this connection right now with the with the tower and the five of pentacles. It was ground shaking, lost, alone, feeling crumbled, not healed. That's what I'm picking up here. You may be having an epiphany about your finances. Um, 
like someone here doesn't feel like they uh, have enough even though it's who they wished for that's in the challenge all right give me the three swords for their challenge and position opposite virgo's energy please someone rise on venus what is this three of swords in the challenge position for the other person about ah there you are jumper <sighs> seven of cups water are they going to choose me? Will they find something better? Is that why they're going to break my heart? Maybe I'll stop this before they can. They have too many options. Why would they want to choose me? This is mental conflict here and, and, and emotion. Why would they choose me? Uh, I'm not good enough. That you both were each other's wish fulfillment and really wanted this union here. Three of Pentacles, and in this Three of Pentacles, I don't know if you can see it, there's a ghost behind her, and she's working alone. She has blood all over her gloves, trying to nourish this little plant, trying to bring something back to life. She's trying to nourish it with water, even though she's cut, she's bruised, she's tired, she's sad. Because someone's not seeing clearly how the sun in reverse. Someone's not wanting to step into the sun. Someone's not wanting the clarity. Someone's blocking the clarity, actually. They're a little too focused on what they actually caused. Sorry, that was switched here. Someone actually caused this this heartbreak, this pain, and someone's trying to heal and not feel at a loss anymore about this love situation. Even though this outcome looks good, I'll get more on that. But at this current moment, someone's like refusing to work together and see that there's growth here because they're feeling that you would have just broke their heart in the first place you had too many options why would you choose them they were a wish fulfillment here hmm. let me know if this resonates huh it's out there someone if you need more of an energy read where I actually pull from your actual energy people are freaked out they usually take a minute to get back to me because that's how much I can pull from you so you can contact me at toriantaro84 at gmail.com Everything and every way to get a hold of me is down below. I start at 15. I cap off at 30, depending how long that reading is. It's a gift, and I'm not robbing you, but time is money. Carrying on. What is the outcome here? The Eight of Wands outcome for Virgo. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. This shared mutual energy. What is this outcome? Eight of Fire, Eight of Wands. What is the outcome, please? What is the outcome? Okay. Seven of Swords and the Ace of Wands. So while someone is going to communicate in this connection, please be clear. It's going to be seem very passionate, very everything you wanted. We're coming back together. Someone's traveling. Please be careful. Someone's not telling the truth. Even though it's a new beginning, someone hasn't faced the fact here. And with all these threes, there could be another person involved. It may not be you. They felt they have other people, even though they're putting in their head that you have too many options. Why would you want them? They're not good enough for you. Okay, you need to see clearly through all this passion because what can ignite you can also consume you and destroy you. Let's get more clarity on that. And they fell out for a moment. Yeah, 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 yeah. Page of Cups, Page of Wands. Very small offers. Nothing. Like they're looking at a cup they threw into the water. I mean, they both are. I don't know if you can see this. Like the Page of Wands is looking over at the cup while the guy is looking at the cup. I want you to be able to see this proper. Okay. Like they're looking at it. They're not taking too much action. They're taking little baby steps. Someone here is. Someone's taking baby steps. They're offering something big, but the reality is they're not telling the truth. And they're taking very small baby steps here. 
There's a, some addiction, some lustful, like they want you to just be theirs, but not want to tell the truth. Because they're not dealing with this uh, heartbreak here. Huh. I'm going to get uh, some clarity cards. And like I said, if you need more in-depth, we definitely can do that. Give me clarity on this spread, please. For Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Give me clarity in this love obstacle situation. Yeah, there's definitely some truth not being spoken here. Loss. Loss. Mary Shelley, loss. She experienced a lot of loss in her life. Um, people trying to keep her from doing what she felt she needed to do. Um, like, they encouraged her until she actually started writing. Okay. The cycle of life, transition, and attachment. Yeah, there's strong, passionate attach attachment here. Like, someone can't really let you go, but they also abandon you, shuns you, but refuses to let you go. And there are children involved here. Hmm. One more, please, for this spread. For Virgo. Oh! I asked for one, I get two. So we will take them. Ah. Someone you're going to catch out in the actual open of trying to cause chaos. This could be the third party. Someone's trying to bring chaos and they are urging you urging you to please take a look and bring it to light. Take a look and bring it to light. So I'm going to get a angel deck. All these have already been pre-shuffled. I, like I said, kept it from calling in your soulmate in the reverse, actually. One more, please. Oh my bad. Let me do this again. Okay, so I'm gonna I'm just gonna say this in the upright. Your prayer and affirmation and visualizations help bring you together, but you also need clarity. Please don't jump to this. Let me get another one. You're being urged here. Like you have a path to go on. You whoever you have a path in the public eye to go on. Don't let someone sabotage that with false Oh. And it's okay to go slow. Okay, you need to express your love. Go ahead and make the romantic gesture, but please go slow. Please get clarity. Don't just rush into this. I mean, I am urging you. Slow. Go slow with this so you are not abandoned and out in the cold. It is safe for you to love, but please seek the truth. I have the devil on the bottom and I have the hierophant. Okay. Again, what ignites you can consume you very, very fast and you need to seek the truth. The truth because there is an imbalance here. Someone has like this lusty thing. They don't want to commit to you. They're afraid of breaking your heart, but they have options over here on the side. They're not being honest about it, but refuse to let you go. I'm going to leave it at that, Virgo.